Okay, Shalom. Shalom. All right, before we begin, we want to give infinite praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double, double honors to the apostles and the elders of your most stone GMS who were well and mm -hmm. who taught us this truth. And our peace and salutations be unto you, fellow Akim, your brethren that believe in this truth and also have faith in Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, and that are also pushing out this word in true faith and in sincerity. All right, to, to you we say Shalom. Okay, and in this lesson, <clears throat> in this lesson, Lord willing, the topic is going to be just shedding some light and talking about the the uh, the, the reason why the prophets are, are out there, right? Or, or more so, talking about what what truly what, what what the scriptures are talking about, and also disproving what America believes what God is all about, the quote unquote God. Yeah. Okay, because the what well, the God of the Bible. And, that, and that's what we're going to be uh, emphasizing a lot, according to the Bible, because, it, well, you know, recently brothers have seen, you know, the recent news of, I mean, I'm not going to make mention of it, but of course, you know, terrorism and things like that and defaming. But, and they're they trying say, to, if I could say real quick, they're trying to link us to, uh, to well, yeah, they're trying to link the, you know, black Hebrew Israelites to terrorism, you know, they're out here lying, throwing dirt, throwing <laughs> dirt on us, you know, things of that nature, <coughs> calling us uh, anti-Semitic and all types of stuff like that. Just defaming Salakia. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, things like that. Look, for, well, first of all, we're going to get what the scriptures say, all right? And we're actually going to prove using the, the Holy Bible, all right, that, that, that the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, all right, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, that he's not with this place at all. Nor does he align himself, nor does he, uh, uh, what, what's the word? Um, he's not, um, he's not an ally with this place, all right? Mm -hmm. No, n nor is this place with the ways of the Lord, okay? Yeah, if so, I may say real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Heavenly Father is not with the wickedness that you Americans are doing, all right, and the rest of the world that's following after the, the, the wicked ways of America, all right? You know, because the people people don't really know the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Christians think that they're worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they're not, you know? You Muslims too, but you're not. Uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, you see that? Now, and, and what is a prophet? All right. Well, really, the prophet, to prophesy, to break down that word, what? Pro meaning um, before? Pro, pro, pro meaning before. The facade means to speak. All right. To, mm -hmm. to lay aloud your voice. So what? It means to say something before it happens. All right. So what? A prophet is a messenger of the Lord. All right, a sermon. Not, not, that's not, nothing more or less. All right, he's he's just he's here to tell you, all right, what's something that ha uh, something that's gonna happen that came from a higher being, mm -hmm. okay? And that higher being has a message, all right. And and what? And it just talked about kingdoms, all right. And it's, and it says to speak against, okay. That's our that's that's our job. That's the message that a message from the heavens that we have from Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, the true powers of who made heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. They their message <clears throat> was to speak against a kingdom, all right. It, what does it mean to speak against? It means you're not with them. It means you're against them. All right, you, you're speaking, uh, um, you're speaking uh, against their, their their crimes. All right, well, you know whether whatever it may be, but concerning America, we're, we're speaking against their wickedness and their crimes. All right, and the things that they've done to the people of of, of Israel. All right, the the, the twelve tribes. Mm -hmm. But we're speaking against their wickedness and their blasphemous blasphemous ways of this life. All right, mm -hmm. and, and the oppression of our people. Okay. Right, we're speaking against that, and not only that, but the the foretold prophecy of this place being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Yeah. That's all in the scriptures as well. And to prophesy against what? Mount Seir, right? Which which is indicative of uh, of, of you so-called white people, the Edomites of the mm -hmm. Bible. Or right? we have to prophesy against you as well. Okay. All right, that's in the scriptures. Yeah. yeah. If I may okay. say real yeah. quick, because uh, one thing is this, uh, and uh, it basically us prophesying uh, the downfall of America is, that, is prophecy in itself, Okay. When you read uh, Ezekiel, the uh, Salakia, when you read uh, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, it actually is, is prophecy that that would happen. Also in Isaiah, the 19th chapter, you know, when you read about it, you know, it speaks about those things, you know. Also in the Revelations, the 11th chapter, it speaks about, uh, uh, the, you know, basically the spirit of the Lord, you know. And what his his people are receiving, basically the Israelites coming back to life through the Holy Scriptures, man. Yeah. All right. And also speaks about uh, within the Scriptures, you know, it's in the Apocrypha. Uh, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, you know? And what, man? That, that's exactly <laughs> what you see going on today. So us prophesying the downfall of America is prophecy in itself. All right? 
Yeah, and, and knowing who you are too, no, knowing who we are in general. Yeah, us you know? coming back to our to our yeah. identity. Yeah, us coming back to to who in in, in in retrospect and which specific tribe we are and and what's ha- and what's going to happen. What's going to happen enough that that's already is a, is a blessing as well. All right, most people are in darkness, man, and then that's actually going to stay like that until the Lord dest- ultimately destroys them. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So James four and four. Yep. Ye adulterers and adult and adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Yeah, see, the, the friendship of the world, just um, being uh, 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 like a uh, like an outstanding group or something, you know? It's not like this isn't some type of gang warfare we have amongst uh, Hebrew-Israelite groups. No, right. it's not, that's not the case. We, we're we not going to, uh, and, and like the scriptures talk about in Jeremiah, we're not going to trim our ways to seek love. We're not, we're not out here to seek love. Mm-hmm. No, we're not out here to gain credit or fame or... Or, or infamy or something. Right. Uh, even though the scriptures do talk about what well, we're going to be made a spectacle, that we're not searching for these things. Really, well, we're, we're just serving, serving, seeking to serve the Lord and to do and to keep what He said and to, uh, and to do what He told us to do. Are in these times. Yep. All right. But they said the friendship, the friendship of the world is an enmity towards the Most High. All right. Yeah. It's a, it's that's another synonym for anti. All right. Meaning what? You're just totally against it. All right. So you're we're you're you are anti. Uh, uh, biblical, you were anti. Uh, so the, the, you were uh, an enemy towards the spirit of the Lord. If you if you're being uh, 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 an uh, all uh, lovey dovey type of person towards the rest of the world, all right? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, walking with every type of doctrine. Uh, you know, um, m- making friends with these other uh, Israelite camps that that may be, you know Jakes that may know that the Israelites and their teaching, but they might teach a different doctrine. We can't associate ourselves with these men. You know, mm-hmm. one might one might one camp might even be uh, thinking carnally or something. All right, but what we're spiritual men. Yeah, so, you know things like that. Mm-hmm. So we're not gonna be friends with them. We're not even gonna be friends with these uh, these Christians, right? These, these are the definitely uh, not. these other not these other nonsense groups, you know, uh, Islam, right? Like preacher. Well, they mentioned Muslims, right? We're not gonna associate <laughs> ourselves with with them. Definitely not. Amos three and three can two walk together except they be agreed. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, better yet, we're not even gonna be on TV shows with with other with other troubled troubled teens or something like that. You know, we're not gonna be on TV shows to, to where you're gonna compare ideologies or something like that. That that look that, oh, that, yeah. that stuff is out the window, you know. We're not, we're not gonna be doing that. Yeah, that's the thing. Those are like uh, when you see Israelites, you know, doing carnal. carnal things, carnal things like that. Those are gimmicks, and and, and and they're playing around, man. Yeah, they think it's a fad. Yeah, they take it as a joke, you know, because that's the thing, man. You don't really see other Israelite, other Israelites really preaching too much about the the uh, the, the exact same things that that we are taught here in Great Millstone, you know, because here in Great Millstone we we push big the elect, all right, because according to Revelations, you know. The elect is the one who's going to get the victory. You know, that's why we push hard for this, because we know once the elect gets the victory, and if it be the Lord's will that we're part of that number, once the elect gets the victory, man, Israel's kingdom can come in, and we can finally have peace. But you don't see other camps pushing that, man. The You know, real quick, I don't want to, you know, ramble on, on it for too mm-hmm. long, but you see the, what you see these other camps doing, majority of them, man, you see them trying to, it, it looks like they're trying to convert the whole nation. You know, that's what it looks like. That's not according to the scriptures, yeah. Yeah, that's not, yeah, because according to the scriptures, two thirds of the nation of Israel have to perish on this side, man. And that, and you know, you don't really see them preaching too much about that, man. They just, you just see them, yeah, okay, they might be rebuking, you know, you see them, hey, pull your pants up, you stop getting lineups, maybe they say that, you know, stop cutting your beard. But it's like, hold up, bro, only the elect's gonna get right, you know, only those predestined to get right are gonna get right, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, but yeah, so yeah, Salak, so, yeah. so about predestination, predestination, and like the brother read in, Jer- in the book of Jeremiah, all right, we ought to. Uh, it said that we, we have to uh, speak against uh, against what great kingdoms, but also what we we also have to talk about what the kingdom being nigh at hand. The, yeah, also real quick because uh, we read Jeremiah twenty eight and eight. Basically, those judgments of the heavenly Father are coming. We're just telling the people, all right, and those who are gonna get right are gonna get right, and the rest are not. You know, point blank, period. Yeah, two th- oh, actually, uh, speak of the two-thirds, right? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 12. They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. Right, because that, that's, that's part of the things uh, uh, you just read in Jeremiah, right? Mm-hmm. 28 and 8. You know, famine, pestilence, the great evils, right? These things are coming. But the thing is, what? We know that the, the neglectful two, uh, two-thirds out of the nation of Israel... They're, they're, they're gonna think it not so, all right. They're, they're gonna. They said they belie the Lord, all right. So they're gonna think. What well, this is what they say inside themselves, inside their mind. They say, oh, we're, we're not gonna see the sword. We're, we're not gonna see famine. We're, we're not gonna see these evil things. Everything's gonna be a okay in the good old USA. 
<laughs> but that, that, that dream is going to start coming right down, all right? Mm-hmm. That, that's what it is. It's just a dream. It's not even a dream. It's, it's an illusion. Yep, it's okay? a fantasy. It's not really there. It's a mirage, <laughs> all right? That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, because this place is, 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 it's already written that this place is going to receive a judgment and a heavy destruction, a complete obliteration. Mm-hmm. You know, the scriptures speak about the, the missiles that, you know, that are going to hit America and completely, utterly destroy this place. Yeah, so leave it yeah. wholly desolate. All right, and it's, it's written out within the scriptures, man. Yeah, and that, that's what's important. Are we are we terrorists now, by the way? No, we're, we're, we're telling you what's in the Bible. Is this not in the Bible? It's in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. All right, this place they is going to be destroyed. Say, Salak, yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, they want to they say hate speech. They want to talk about hate, you know, coming from the mouth of the wicked. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. come yeah, on, man. Yeah. Says, the, says the most uh, says, wicked man. Yeah, says the most, man. Yeah, says the wicked is calling us wicked. Come on, man. Did you want me to get the next precept or what? finish out uh, no. James? No, that's, that's a good point. Get the next one? Mm-hmm. Uh, John 7, St. John chapter 7, verse 7. <clears throat> the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it. That the works thereof are evil. Yeah, it said that the works thereof are evil, man. And Yahweh Shai said that. All right. And I like the scriptures say, actually, uh, it was the spirit. I just, I just, um, so, just so happened to um, come across it. This is Amos chapter five, verse fifteen. Hate the evil, and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. Mm-hmm. All right. So I said, what I said, hate the evil and love the good. And obviously, this is according to the eyes, and the uh, the spectrum of the Lord. All right. So we have to hate that which the Lord hates, and love that which is good in the eyes of the Lord. Okay. Now, is that the same thing in America? Hell no. All right. That which is, uh, apparently, this is, uh, I don't know what, you know, obviously we know their plan, but on the outside, on the house, outside perspective, all right, in the, in the um, but, uh, outside of the closed doors and all that, all right, and in the public eye, what, mm-hmm. what are they hoping to accomplish if this is going to be a hate-free place? This is the most hateful place ever known to man, all right, this empire, okay, because it, it, it doesn't even have to be hatred towards the, the Israelites, all right, it could just be hatred toward uh, legit any other nation, you know? So stop so, so trying to hide it with the, with all these uh, damn uh, uh, YouTube guidelines, okay? Uh, restricting hate. All, hate hate is just the worst thing ever. It goes on top with rape in this society. <laughs> I'm just going to say, you know? really, it, they, they're, they're calling it hate speech when we're telling them, when we're pointing out their wickedness, you know? Mm-hmm. They, they don't it's like hate. it. Yeah, they don't like <laughs> it when you rebuke and correct them, you know? Because right. we're rebuking, it. really, we're rebuking Israel in, in hopes of the elect waking up. And, of course, we're washing the blood off our hands by, by telling the two-thirds what's coming. And then, you know, and for the nations, we're just condemning them because they can't. The nations, they're not going to come to the Lord because they can't. It's, it's, about, it's about Israel coming back. That's the only ones who can come back because we were there in the first place. These nations, we're just telling them their judgment that's coming for what they have done. And Israel, if they don't get right, we're telling them what's going to happen to them if they choose not to get right. You know, if they don't choose life. Exactly. But, um... You know, yeah, real quick, I wanted to say real quick, because um, we, we just read John, mm-hmm. you know, it said um, that the works thereof are evil. The, 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 basically, yeah. you know, right uh, now, you see a lot of, um, basically, you see a lot of wickedness, and, and it's abounding, man. You know, a, a lot of it, man. Witchcraft is everywhere. You know, the more, hey, man, it's like the more you learn, hey, man, sometimes you're just like, damn, man, you know, I need more, more strength of the mind, Lord, please, because... Mm-hmm. Man, the things that these Edomites do, you know, the, they taint our water, our food, you know, uh, they throw out enchantments, you know. Yeah, of you, course, yeah. we know the scriptures, Salakia. Oh, no, yeah, I was going to say, Roku, do, you, do you just expect us to shut up? Well, actually, yeah, yeah, you, you actually do expect us to shut up. But guess what? That's not going to be so, right? Yeah, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, you have to, Ezekiel 9 and 4, you have to cry aloud and spare not. We're not going to hold mm-hmm. back anything, That's right? Isaiah 58. Oh, oh. Oh really? Cry, um, cry loud, spare not, lift the light voice. As if oh, oh, one. um, I know what you're saying. saying. I think, um, no, uh, no, Salaki, cry loud. You know, if, if we're paraphrasing, um, uh, for for uh, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of yeah, yeah, Khan. The, Salaki, the men right? that signed that cry, Khan. But yeah, yeah, but, but you know, it's that, that's, that's that's the point. Okay, mm-hmm. we're 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 just what we're supposed to talk about these things, and and that, that was the words of Yahweh Shai. He said that the works there are about evil, yep. and he testifies of it. Yep. And you know, we're just following in his footsteps. Yeah, that's so, right. And that, that's what the world ignorantly calls Jesus. When, right, his, name, his real name is Hamashak Yahweh Shai. And it just said there that he testifies against that crap, yep. against the, 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 the filthiness that goes on here. All right? That, that's the, that's the, the son of God. All right? The, the one yeah. who had a miraculous birth without a father, right? He just said that that came from his mouth. He just said that this, the, today's times are evil. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, so what do you have to say to that? Yeah, which is what you Christians claim, because we don't believe that. You know, we know we know that the Lord, you know, not to get off topic, we know that the Lord was born through uh, uh, sex, or right? he came out of Joseph's loins, you know? Yeah, so would that be hate? You know? Just to make that quick. You know, what, would that be hate, though? You know? For, right. For if, 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 you, if you, how was shy, right? If he, if he were to uh, testify against it, because that, that, that's, that, that's why people hated our ministry as well and, uh, back in the day. All right, because we testified against the Roman Empire. Yeah. All right, and the, look, look where we are now. Mm-hmm. All right, Rome and Egypt and spiritual Sodom. Yeah, all these doing things the com- same thing. All these, yeah, all these things combined in one, and now we're, we're, prophes- we're prophesying the same thing. If I could say real quick, mm-hmm. because the main thing that's going on is that, um, yeah, I got the next precepts. Mm-hmm. The, uh, real quick, the main thing that's going on that you see is that everybody is pretty much the way that they're living, the, the way that the world functions and it moves. Is complete opposite according to how things are supposed to be, you know. And the main reason why it's important is because you have Israelites doing it. More specifically, you know, you got the elect that's still out there, okay. And what them living, basically the Israelites living uh, according to the ways of this world, you know, is is incorrect. That that's that's the wrong that's the wrong thing, all right. Because the ways of this world is completely against the ways of the heavenly Father, the way He ordained uh, us to live. All right, it is uh, uh, not how uh, we are living in this current world, you know. And even those that have woken up, it's hard for us to even uh, remain uh, completely to, to the best of our... Of course, we do things to the best of our ability, but being in this world, you know, it's a hard thing to com- to, to maintain our ways uh, uh, within uh, the ways of the Heavenly Father because of uh, the way that... Uh, um, because of the way that this society works. Actually, uh, we're going to get into that, how vexing you know? it is. Yeah, because uh, real quick, because, you know, living in this society, for example, when it comes down to uh, maybe the maybe your job situation, it might be so you can't, some days you can't be as spiritual as you want to be, you know? Some days it may be hard for you to fast because of your workload, you know? It just makes it that much harder, you know? Just quick, just quick, quick thing, quick thing to mention, but this is Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. Yeah, because th- those are the repercussions of this <coughs> captivity, all right? Yeah, you know the, the, these unrighteous decrees. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Being around, uh, you know, all types of abominable foods, right? Uh, pork, lobster, uh, 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 abominable, um, unlawful fishes. You know, whatever. Just name, just to name a few vexing things. You know, yeah. our forefathers they dealt with the same thing. Or as it is written in as it is written in Romans fifteen and four, the things written aforetime is written for our learning. Mm-hmm. Our forefathers they they've gone through the same thing. This is no different. Matter of fact, we are our forefathers, all right? And th- through the process of through the biblical process of reincarnation, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, did you want me to get Isaiah thirty? It uh, says, "Which say to the seers, see nah, not." That's, tw- nah, that's, that's cool. All right, uh, Second Peter's two and six. <coughs> yeah, Second Peter. <coughs> Second Peter's two verse, mm-hmm. chapter two verse six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Yeah. Oh, Sodom and Gomorrah. We got to talk about that. You know, two cities that existed back then that was exceedingly wicked. But matter of fact, uh, the term <coughs> for uh, anal sex. Is today uh, what's the term for it is uh, sodomy, right? Named after the uh, the city itself, all right. <laughs> Con, well, lucky. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Yeah, so yeah, everyone knows about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. We weren't even there, all right. It's in, it's in Genesis. Yeah, but everyone knows the story of it, right? Okay, everyone knows the story of, uh, of Egypt, all right. And this goes, goes this goes down as a perfect example. Oh, actually, it says that. Keep reading. Yeah. So. Condemn them with an overthrow, making them an 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 example unto those that after should live ungodly. Yeah, and clearly America didn't learn from that. Matter of fact, actually, uh, and 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 because what the best belief they know about it. Yeah, they, they just they were just uh, unfaithful people. All right, uh, these Edomites. All right, they, they they didn't care about it. They they didn't even believe in, in the they don't even believe in the Bible. They're just like, eh, that's a funny fairy tale. Let me let me let me replicate it. Let me name uh, I don't know clubs after it. Let, let let me name a term after it or something. Oh yeah. But that that just shows you that that's what is going down just right next to it. It, it follows the same. It follows the same exact spirit, you know. Yeah. And it said an and sample, right? This is, the Lord made it, and it said it, it was condemned. It was damned. It was doomed to go down from the beginning. All right, because the Most High had it to where he, he destroyed it and made it as an example. Well, unto those that should live uh, uh, in, a, in an evil conversation. Live ungodly. All right. Yeah, to live ungodly, to mm-hmm. do a, a, a an exact opposite of what the Lord told you to do, and do that exceedingly. Yep. You know, and then that that's what goes on in, here in the shores of America, right? That's yeah. that's why this place is going down. We see so much wicked. Real quick, we, even just at camp, you see so many things 
It's like each Saturday, not, you know, hey, Lord's will, it's not every single Saturday, but, hey, man, you see things out there that you're just like, oh, my gosh, this is an abomination, right. you know? You see uh, transgenders walking up and down the street freely, man. They teach that in no history one, class. The only people giving them looks is us. It's normal to everybody else. It just goes to show you how desensitized these people are to seeing wickedness, man. You know? You see people dressed weird as hell. You see men wearing women's clothing, women wearing men's clothing. You see lesbians, you know, dykes and shit like that, man. You know? You see people walking up and down the street smoking these humongous freaking cigars, smoking weed and shit all day. Yeah, and, 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 and Edom's attitude towards these things, if you, if you were to ask Edom, what would he say? Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, I don't have a problem with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. He can do what he wants. Give him rights. Yeah, if, if a young man is doing something <clears throat> wicked, what will Edomite say? Remember that one Edomite? He's just a kid. Mm -hmm. No, man. He's not just a kid. All right? Man, devil's man. But anyway, yeah, man. Uh, I, I'm going to read the next precept. Yep. Uh, 2 Peter 2 and 7. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, you best believe that Greek word for conversation it would have to be anastrophe. Anastrophe? Anastrophe. Are you is, well, it, is it that one? Roughly, roughly said. I'll check it, it would have to be because what? It's talking about be, uh, behaviors, uh, conduct. So what? They're probably, you know, they, they probably had... Uh, most definitely, obviously, I think they had a, a, a funky spirit to them. All right, I could I, I look a bunch of uh, uh, you know what's. All right, I right, probably I probably walk different just the way they talk. Or right, even today, you you notice that today with with certain types of wicked people. Yeah, it's a not right? Yeah, yeah. See, it, not so afraid. What you know? Uh, their behavior, uh, their yeah, mannerisms, their, their behavior, way of yeah, life. Their behavior, ma yeah, mannerisms, their their way of living. It was totally contrary to the Lord. All right, but he delivered uh, a servant of his. All right, the, uh, just Lot. <coughs> All right, because what he was vexed, he 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 was uh, afflicted uh, and, and and just felt uh, uh, vexed under the sun by being near these people. All right, and actually witnessing what they were doing, man. That they're they're probably doing all types of uh, abominable things and in public, you know. Because what well, in America they allow these abomin abominations, all right, to happen in public. If I may say, all right, they, it's locking real so quick because they even allow this in history in uh, in schools now. Mm -hmm. All right, they they really I I know uh, younger uh, when I was younger that that this wasn't really uh pushed as much or as it is now i mean it's an alarming rate i'm talking like it really is like nothing to these people yeah like if, pushing homosexuality if you mention like gay or homosexual in like the early 2000s pe pe people looked at you like a uh, like, like like you were damn crazy but now it's almost like it's just you nothing. better not talk about it you know? it's just nothing you know yeah because yeah even here because uh for example you know, we're, we, we, us being men of the Lord, we don't like to see those things. We understand that we have to live in this world, but we're vexed just to be around those things, man. You know, when you go to work, you know, you got damn homosexuals around you and stuff like that. You got damn lesbians around you and, and things of that nature, man. You have bug outs, man. You got drug addicts or addicts around you, man. You know, uh, especially, you know, being, being in the city, man. Uh, you know, we, you know, us being down in uh, D.C., Washington, D.C., man. Their weed is legal, man. So you got people there uh, smoking weed all the time, man. Hey, that stuff is annoying as hell, man. You know, we have to be around those things, man. We're vexed with the filthy conversation of these people. We're vexed with the way that they live, man. With the with their manner of life, their behavior, man. You know, real quick, <coughs> you'll be around Jake, and they pretty much are so immersed into folly, all they do is talk about wickedness. You can't even have a conversation with these people, man, without them mentioning that they do some wicked shit or are into some wicked shit. <laughs> and then you... You're not into that shit, and they think something's wrong with you. Like, oh, I don't eat pork. What? Yeah, like, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> you yeah. know? Then that call evil good and good evil. Yep. Yeah, uh, 2 Peter 2 and 8. For that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day mm. and their unlawful deeds. With the Salakia, with their unlawful deeds. Yeah, kind of, that was it, though? Uh, one more verse. Mm -hmm. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations... And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. That that's in the New Testament, and it says the Lord knows how to do these things. Well, you think He's not going to do it in this time? My so, so He's just gonna He's just gonna uh, uh, let it all go, you know? Just just uh, uh, forgive and forget, right? Come on, man! It says the Lord has preserved the unjust for the day of judgment, man. You're you're not going to get away with this, all right? Uh, and, and, and we're making sure that what we're we're doing what we do, so so we're not reserved for for that specific judgment. You yeah, know? we don't want that. We so don't this want is, missiles. Yeah, so speaking of missiles, this is uh yeah. This is Amos chapter nine, verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh Shabi Hawashai, are upon the sinful kingdom. Mm -hmm. Alright, and of course you gotta ask yourself, what is the sinful kingdom? What do you think it is now? 
It's not any other place, because any other place actually follows after this, this, uh, this, uh, the, that's where the term comes from, this God-forsaken place, all right? But truly, of course, we are forsaken, all right? We have, we have Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, all right? And, and second, he's going to destroy this place, all right? With thermonuclear missiles that are, that are going to be shot in the heavens, all right? Just like the scriptures say, my sword shall be bathed in heaven, Yep. all right? Isaiah during World War, during World War Three, all right, I'm, with, with, with with all these other nations, all right, mm -hmm. all right, and the, and the thing is, what, what, how much more evidence do you need? The the this is the one, pl this is the hypocritical ass empire. This is the place where where what had Christian roots, okay, and and then their and their constitution or or bill of rights, whatever uh, whatever it's called, all right. Uh, they they have uh, what freedom of religion, but but, but did, didn't they recognize as as this place being a, a Christian? Or was it a Christian Christian country? God, God loving country, yeah, God, God fearing loving, country. God fearing country. But what does the Bible say about it? One of the first commandments that thou shall have no other power before me. Thou shall have no other God before me. If I may read one precept, it's in the Bible. And book real Psalms. quick, and your but your but your constitution or whatnot, it says uh, freedom of religion. Or uh, yeah, yeah, the freedom of religion. See, see how many contradictions there are with this devil. All right, that this guy is just a fickle, a uh, 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 fickle. Uh, what is it? Vagabond, a criminal. Yep. The true um, uh, mob man. Yeah, you Edomites are the real criminals of the world. <coughs> you That's know? right. You rape, rob, murder, everything. That's why the scriptures speak about calling them the border of wickedness. <coughs> uh, real quick, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Which is exactly what you see the Edomites doing, man. You know, they go into the uh, courtrooms and they swear on the Bible, you know? <clears throat> things of that nature. They do all types of uh, 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 things, man. They, they, you know, you see the Amalekites claiming to be uh, the Lord's people, man. Talk about they're the chosen, you know, things of that nature. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't quote scriptures without any knowledge of it. Uh, John three sixteen. Oh yeah. They probably quote saw Psalms twenty three verbatim or something. Right. Top to bottom, but they don't have no idea what it means. Yeah, but, 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 but you know, like like we just read, man. What what is they? What are they doing? You know, trying to declare. You know the uh, the the you know the the statutes. You know what are they trying to? Yeah. You know them one that, one that is sanctified. Con them them claiming to to have been uh, uh you know a God to they're claiming to be a God fearing country. Okay. But exactly what the heavenly Father says not to do is what they do, and they uphold it. As a matter of fact, all the wickedness that we're told not to do, clearly instructed in the scriptures, they up not only do they do it, but they uphold it. You know, so like yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a downfall, man. Hey. I'm gonna finish this off. <clears throat> Amos uh, 9 and 8. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, which is America, already mm -hmm. Babylon. Babylon, the great, the great place, the whole ball of confusion. That great city. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, mm -hmm. saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says that I will destroy it off from the face of the earth. What does it mean to destroy something? It means to obliterate. It means to, uh, it ceases to exist, okay? That's what that's what the Lord's gonna do to this place. Yeah. All right, and there's no other thing you can do about it. Yeah. All right. We and, and Yahweh Shai testifi testifies of this, and so do we. All right. But as followers, faithful, hopeful, and faithful followers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If I may say real quick, that's why in the scriptures in Revelations 19 and 10, it says what? Uh, that the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, it is. Prophecy. So that's why you see his servants today testifying. Those that are testifying of Mashiach Yahweh Shai are out here prophesying. All right. Prophesying the downfall of America and the salvation of the elect, man. All right? That's exactly what you see us prophesying, man. That the elect is going to get the victory. All right? We're prophesying that the microchip is coming. We're prophesying that martial law is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. World War III. Uh, uh, missiles. Yeah, the missiles. Mm, beautiful missiles. Yep, the destruction of America. And most importantly, of course, salvation to the elect of the nation of Israel. And Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's kingdom coming, man. That's what we're prophesying, man. All right, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah, and, and, and many more, man. We, yep. we just scratched the surface, sir. But yeah. that's just the point. All right, so we, we proved to you that what the works thereof are, 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 not, are not only evil, but we're against this place. All that's right? right, and so is this place as well. All right, whether they whether they think it's a God loving or God fearing, it's all bull, it's all bull crap. All right, it's all nonsense. All right, it's all madness. Okay, and it's hopeful, uh, hopeful and faithful men of the Lord. All right, we're gonna do what we what, what we ought to do. All right, mm -hmm. and prophesy against this place. So that's the Lord right. can, can can make His great return. Uh, 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 hey, don't tarry, wait for it. Yeah, we're All prophesying right? the return of our Lord, Amashiach Yahweh Shai. So with that, come on. Okay, okay, come on. So with that, you know, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, GMS, who rule well, Adam taught us this truth, 
And uh, peace and salutations be unto you, fellow Akim, new brethren that are also pushing out this word mm -hmm. and true faith in its sincerity. All right, so with that, we want to say Shalom. Shalom.